This video was made possible by Good Better Best Situation Services. Please subscribe to this channel for the latest videos. Today we are going to be discussing squares and roots, as well as cubes and cube roots. So let's look at squares and roots. When a number is multiplied by itself, the answer is a perfect square. The number itself is called a square root. For example, when we multiply 2 by 2, the answer is 4. 2 is the square root and 4 is the square. Now with cubes and cube roots. When a number is multiplied by itself 3 times, the answer is a cube. The number itself is called a cube root. For example, 3 times 3 times 3 equals 27. 3 is called the cube root and 27 is the cube. Now let's look at our first example. We have the square root of 36 over the square root of 16. Now we need to split this into the square root of 36 over the square root of 16. That makes it a little bit easier to simplify because we know that the square root of 36 is 6 and the square root of 16 is 4. Now what happens to 6 over 4? We have to simplify like we did in fractions. So we ask ourselves what goes into 6 that goes into 4 and the answer is 2. So we divide by 2 on top and we divide by 2 at the bottom as well. So 6 divided by 2 is 3 and 4 divided by 2 is 2. Leaving us with an answer of 3 over 2. Let's look at our next example. We have a half cubed. What does that mean? It means that we need to multiply a half by itself three times. So we have a half times a half times a half. And you know that when we are multiplying fractions, we multiply numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. So 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. And 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, giving us an answer of 1 over 8. Now let's look at example 3. We need to find the square root of 2 and 7 over 9. Now the first thing we need to do is to convert this fraction into an improper fraction, making it 25 over 9. And then we split it into the square root of 25 over the square root of 9. And the square root of 25 is 5, and the square root of 9 is 3, giving us an answer of 5 over 3. Let's look at example 4. Now we need to find the cube root of 0,125. So what's important to note is that we first need to convert this to a fraction, giving us 125 over 1,000, which we simplify 125 goes into itself once, and it goes into 1,000 eight times, leaving us with 1 over 8. And now when we need to find the cube root of 1 over 8, the cube root of 1 is 1, and the cube root of 8 is 2, giving us an answer of a half. Let's look at our fifth example. We have the square root of 3 squared plus the square root of 5 squared. Now what's important to note is that whenever we square a square root, the two will cancel each other. In other words, that will cancel that. And that square will cancel the square root. Now in grade 11, you'll do thirds and you'll understand why they cancel each other out. In the meantime, what we need you to know is that they cancel each other out. So what we are left with here is 3, and what we are left with here is 5, and 3 plus 5 is 8. In our final example, we have 2 times the square root of 16 plus 3 times the cube root of 8. What is the square root of 16? The square root of 16 is 4. And what is the cube root of 8? It is 2. That leaves us with 2 
times 4 plus 3, and then the cube root of 8, we got 2, so it's 3 times 2. That will give us 8 plus 6, which is equal to 14. Thank you for watching with us. And then if you need tuition in maths, accounting, physics, English, or Afrikaans, we are based in Lotus River, Cape Town, and we can help. Please feel free to contact me on the number on the screen. We hope to see you again soon.